Welcome back guys. Today we are going to see how to handle hidden division pop-ups in Protractor. Okay. So what is this hidden division pop-up? So basically hidden division pop-up is nothing but a pop-up which is hidden in the HTML code. For example, let's take our website, uh, which is like a churcher tech slash practice slash hidden division pop-up. This is the URL I'm going to use for this tutorial. Okay, let's open this one and see what is hidden division pop-up. Okay, when I click a particular button or a particular link or something, it will bring an overlay. Okay, this is an overlay or sometimes you can also call it as model. Okay, some people will call it as a hidden division pop-up. Okay, I'll explain why it's called as hidden division pop-up. Okay, so what happens is it will open over your screen. Okay, it is not a JavaScript pop-up. Okay, if you want to perform any operation in the screen, in the background screen, Selenium will let you allow the will let you allow you to perform the operations, but it throws an exception called not able to click or element not interactable because you have a overlay here. So unless you have unless you close this particular pop-up, you can't perform any operation in the background. So this is one of the uh, issue with hidden division pop-ups. Okay, but uh, how to handle the hidden division pop-up in Protractor? Okay. So it is a very simple to handle hidden division pop-ups because it is basically a overlay on your web page. Okay, so this is a purely web-based uh, pop-up, or you can say like model. Okay, so when you have a hidden division pop-up, you can inspect every element of this particular pop-up. Okay, with your right-click or with your um, try path or something like that. Okay. See, I am trying to inspect it. I'm trying to inspect this particular uh, class mark. I'm able to inspect it. Let's try to inspect the name. See, I'm able to inspect the name as well. Similarly, I can inspect every element in this web page. See, close and the similarly alert also I can do it. Okay, so basically whenever uh, developers develop a model, they will give either a cross mark or a close button to close this particular overlay. Or sometimes what happens is like after entering a particular value, just hit enter, it will go away. So it depends on the developer how uh, he wants the, uh, how, he, how he wants to interact with the user. It's basically purely based on your user uh, experience like how your user should feel like using this particular pop-up okay so this is all about hidden division pop-up let's see how to handle this particular pop-up using a protractor before that uh, i've been telling like it's a hidden division pop-up hidden division pop-up right let's see why we call it as a hidden division pop-up let me close it and just inspect this particular button okay so i hope you guys can see this particular part Otherwise, let me press Control plus. Yeah, now you guys should be able to see the <coughs> values here. Okay, so here uh, this first, first part shows that uh, something it highlights. Okay, but let's see where the hidden division pop up is present. For that purpose, I'm trying to open it again and uh, let's see. See. Uh, let's get some attributes so that we will be able to find it uh, quickly. Okay, so this is the text bar present inside the hidden division pop, -up, right? So this is total thing is a pop up. This one, this one is a text, right? And uh, again, you will have a buttons. You, you, I guess you are able to see it in the screen that it's highlighting them, right? So close button. So everything is present, but see. Let's go up here. Okay, we do not have, we are showing the pop up here, right? Now just copy this class for a future purpose. Let me do it. Now just close this pop up. Okay, we do not have a pop up. Now we call it as a hidden division pop up. And because let's search it here, the same class, whatever we copied. So it is here. I guess you are able to see the yellow thing highlighted here. 
okay so in this one we will be having a hidden attribute let me see where we have a hidden attribute okay we don't have a hidden here this is a body this is just a too many things Uh, basically you can see that the code is present here okay the code is present here and we do not have a hidden attribute here right but still it is hidden you know why because we have set the value here dot cd iphone popup here you have right dot cd iphone popup as a class name for that value we have set our visibility here see can you see the visibility which is in hidden right so now when it is hidden it will not show anything but let's remove this attribute okay so still we have the same uh, class here right so because of which we will not be able to see it now let's click on this view pop-up and check what attribute changes are happening here see here cd iphone pop-up is visible we got a new property right is iphone visible and are we able to see this value visibility double colon equal to visible why we are checking here because this is the class we have to check because of that we are checking here so similarly uh, let's close it and just copy this visible for a moment let's close now so we have a cd pop-up right now in the visibility area just paste it and try whether we are able to see it or not no we are not able to see because there are other properties as well which will reflect these values okay so so uh, that's all about the html code of the hidden division basically it is hidden and it will be showcased only when you click this particular button or a link or something like that so based on the html code it will be visible okay so i hope you guys understood this okay let me close it and uh, close the src code and let's go to visual studio so before that one let's get the element or basically the id or something for this pop-up so the pop-up id is this one cd iphone pop-up iphone trigger this is the a class for this particular button okay if we are able to click this button using this attribute then it should open an overlay okay so this is the url i'm going to use the url is here also you can see it it is a chercher tech slash practice slash hidden division iphone pop-up so you can find this url in description uh, below okay so please do make use of it so we, I have already copy pasted the value and I hope you know that uh, describe block is nothing but your user story and uh, browser ignore synchronization is used for when you have a non-angular application but you wanted to try with the protractor in those cases you will be using ignore synchronization but if you are using a angular application you should not set this value okay whatsoever the reason and uh, we are waiting for uh, 30 seconds for any element to be present we are using implicit weight and which is also a bad thing to use we should go with the explicit weight but as of now it is okay because we are not doing the tutorial about uh, implicit weight so how to find the element in protractor right so use element from the protractor and by dot so here we have to choose like with, from, with which locator we are going to find that particular element so uh, a moment back i copied the class okay so we have to use class name okay the class name is cd pop-up trigger okay so we have to click it see if i say okay, click it okay we have clicked it now it will open the pop-up but we wanted to perform some other operation on the pop-up right we just do not want the pop-up to appear so let's enter some value in the name so it is like input and the type is text but uh, let's uh, confirm it 
so i hope you guys know how to check uh, xpath or uh, css in uh, chrome so just simply you have to press so basically you have to inspect the element or inspect a uh, page or basically you have to open the inspecting model here and then click and hit click on anywhere in that one and press control f okay so to get that particular uh, name basically we have only input and type okay let's try with uh, input so input we have two matches one is with um, name and second one would be mostly that uh, choose file the choose file is the second okay so now we want the name so can I go something like this if you can ask but I wouldn't suggest going with the indexes let's try with something else okay uh, something like other attribute so I hope you guys know how to use the attribute basically you have to use art notation which look which looks like some uh, jalebi in uh, India then we have to use the attribute name equals a single quote then the value which would be um, what it is text right yeah text sometime back we have seen it so so now we have only one match and which is nothing but our name name field let's copy this and uh, let's center some value so again for finding the element you have to use the element by dot xpath then you can use the xpath you created in this case sorry sim sorry here i have not created it as element i missed the t so now you will get the element sorry send case method and I enter some value can i what should what should i enter the value can i enter i am a dumb guy let's enter it i am a dumb guy which is literally true so uh, for a moment's sake uh, i am planning to uh, hold the browser for 10 seconds because once the execution is over the browser will get closed in most of the protractors so protractor accepts the sleep in milliseconds so for giving uh, 10 milliseconds you have to give 10,000 okay now let's run and uh, check whether it sets the value or not okay one two three before running it you have to go to uh, debug tab then only you have to run it. but one more thing if you are watching my videos continuously you might be knowing that you have to start the compilation tsc hyphen w in your terminal which would be here something here see i have already started so if you want me to start uh, i'll start it so when it is already compiling you can press ctrl c to terminate it and hit y and then enter so it will start let me clear the screen now you have to press tsc hyphen w this should this tsc hyphen w should happen on a folder which has ts config dot json file which is this file here at the bottom if you can see it i'm highlighting okay this one this file should be there okay so tscw uh, sorry tsc hyphen w is nothing but it will compile and it will watch for upcoming changes as well okay so you have to set up the compilers also for your js file i have already set it so i'll not don't bother about much about the compile because you can find it in another video now let's run it go to debug tab and hit enter sorry hit run button or you can press fi as well if you want quick running because i have a lot of time so i'll go to tab and then i'll press the run buttons but it is always better to do this way but it's always fast to do by pressing f5 okay it's up to you it's so we should open the thing what do you call that ah, website yeah it's opening it clicked now it should enter the value in the name field 
the value got entered i am done guy now it waits for 10 seconds okay so you guys are able to see the thing right yes now so this is the way you can handle your hidden division pop-ups and your uh, calendar pop-ups okay so we are getting this error because of some uh, sync issues okay because the timeout and the default timeout were not matching because of that it got error okay ignore about it but uh, end of the day you are able to learn that uh, what do you call that you are able to learn that how to handle hidden division pop-up so let me recap all the things so you the hidden division pop-up will be present in your html page basically which is developed using html or css or javascript so you can handle with protractor or selenium or any web-based automation tool okay the only thing is like that html will be hidden okay when you click a particular button or a link it gets enabled and it will be showing in the uh, foreground okay you can't perform any other operation in the background if the pop-up is present so that's it and this is called hidden division pop-up and the reason for calling it illusion pop is because it's hidden in the html okay so that's all about the hidden division pop guys so if you do if you uh, like this video no you do know that i'm going to say do subscribe or uh, share I, I know you guys will not share but at least do the subscribe okay or if you have any queries leave a comment i'll try to answer them as soon as possible okay with that We'll meet in the next video. Thank you guys. Bye.